hello guys and welcome back to our pilot explained series we've already looked at the first two series and the first two series dealt with uh, excavating the holes for the piles and then cleaning the holes so in this series we are going to look at fixing the steel cage into the excavated hole and then casting your concrete so as you can see from this video we are lowering the the reinforcement cage into the the steel cage we already have inside we have to lower it inside so we can start the casting of the concrete so as you can see the machine is now lowering in the it's now lowering the steel inside the cage and it has to be done very carefully and meticulously so you don't uh, destroy anything or hurt anybody around so you, have, you need a good rigger to direct the machine in order to place the steel cage nicely into the excavated hole after that you remove the material that you used in holding the steel cage and then you allow the machine to lift up and then leave the vicinity before the casting can start so this is this is what you are seeing in the video now now the, now the casting has started you have your concrete mixer track around and then we have this uh, steel funnel shaped um, equipment that we use in helping us to cast uh, concrete for piles we put it directly on top of the the steel cage and then we pour the concrete into it so like you can see in the video the concrete is being poured and it's, it's been poured into the piles so it will be poured into the past to the get full and then everything will be removed and then it will be to be okay for the power to be left at the at the end of the at the end of the casting usually um the the casing or the steel casing around on the hole is sometimes removed or in some other cases is left inside you know it depends on design if the design says we should remove it then it has to be removed if the de design says it needs to be kept inside then you have to keep it inside so basically this is how the casting is done thank you for watching bye bye